Okay, yo, 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 welcome back. Welcome to the channel. It is, you know who I am. You clicked on the video. Okay, so today I feel like, uh, well, we're gonna do a couple of videos today. Uh, I was gonna do this one, f well, I was gonna do like the NBA restart and the MLB restart first, like the couple of games. Um, I get caught up on that with you guys, but I figured I should talk about this first and then uh, we'll kind of go into the fun stuff later. Um, because this, it's something, it is a seri more serious topic uh, because we see a lot of the people in the country are dealing with this issue. Um, a lot of lives are, are affected by it. Uh, but, so, kind of go into what it is I'm talking about. So, uh, a couple of months ago, I was positive for COVID. That's what I was going to say. I was trying to think of all of the, anyway. But yeah, I uh, tested positive for COVID a couple of months ago. Uh, thank God, I only had uh, a couple of symptoms. I just lost like the taste and smell. Um, well, I know like some other people, you know, have experienced way worse. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that was it for me. And it lasted like maybe three, four days, but I, it wasn't a super long time. Um, and thankfully I, what actually kind of worked out for me is I had already asked off from work for, uh, like two weeks because I was going to go out of town. Me and my girlfriend were going to go somewhere, but, um, so it just so happened that I contracted it right before, or I test, tested positive for it yeah, right before, um, right before my days for work. So I ended up working out to where I was already off work for that time anyway. Um, and interesting enough, like, so my, my girlfriend actually had symptoms like a couple of days before I did. I don't think she told me, but she just felt like something was off. And then, but hers ended up lasting longer than I, mine uh, did. So I think it was like a few days after mine too. And she was like, that's not fair. I don't know how you already got yours back. But uh, actually, I'll show you guys what I took during that time. Um, now, I'm not saying this is some miracle stuff. I'm not saying this is a cure for all. Uh, take this information how you will, but, uh, and for some people, you already heard this information. This is on my podcast. Um, if you have not heard this and you have not listened to my podcast, go check it out. Uh, it is sometimes offensive. Uh, anyway, so, uh, this stuff right here though, it's, uh, let's see if we can focus in on that. Yeah, just the cold and flu stuff. And I just got the regular Walmart brand stuff, uh, the Equate. And um, I think, like, I, I even, you can see this bottle is still pretty much full, like, barely any out of there at all. Um, this was my second bottle of it because I just followed the directions on here. And I took the, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, it says take 30 milliliters. 30 milliliters every four hours and um yeah that's all i did so like for those few days i just did that over and over and over drank a bunch of water but like i still uh kept up like my normal lifestyle of like that's because I, I work out every day i do cardio every day and i just kept doing things normally and um thankfully like i didn't have any other compl complications with it um, uh, when it came to like the taste and the smell, I, so I, I, I knew that things were, could like, were, uh, when something wasn't something else, like let's say if I was eating a piece of chicken and then I started eating, uh, like a beef patty, I knew that it was different meat, but I can like taste the different flavors in it. Or same thing, if it was piece of chicken and then I started eating a piece of bread or if I started eating like uh, some vegetables like I knew it was something else different in there um, and I kind of I don't know if again if the, any of this is right or correct or worked um, this is just what I tell myself and how I feel worked but I kept doing uh, like a sensory stimulation I know somebody out there with like a degree in psychology or something like that. I'd be like, that's not how that works. But for me, it worked. So 
I'm sticking with it. Um, or I'm sticking to that's what worked. Because I, so what I did was whenever I cooked my food, I still put the same seasoning that I would whether I could taste it or not. Because I felt like if I just kept constantly introducing like those into my sensory, it would help with recovery. That was my logic to myself. I felt like it would make my brain snap back or something and be like, oh, yo, that that's it. I, I don't know, but that's what I saw. Because, uh, so actually, I told you about my girlfriend already. She was looking at stuff and some people were saying how it had, it had been like uh, four weeks or like two months, three months since they had gotten like taste and smell back and they have just completely lost their appetite and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm just gonna just with myself pretend like everything is just all right and I'm gonna just keep just doing exactly what I would do as if I never had this stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. And then it was at the end of that week, like I was starting to kind of get taste back. Like I could, and I told her, I was, I was like, look, I don't know if this is real, but like, it may just be in my head. And so I remember telling her, I was, I was like, look, you make something and then let me see if I can taste it. I don't want to see it. Like, let me see if I can really taste it. And then like, I would taste it. And she was like, yeah, like that, that's it. So um, I was like, okay. So I felt as if it worked. Um, and yeah, and I, and I, I think I was one of the more fortunate ones because I'm not saying I'm the healthiest person, but I live, I try to live like a healthier lifestyle as far as like watching what I eat, working out, keeping up with myself, trying to stay clean. Like hygiene is beyond important to me. Um, and I, it's, some people would say that I'm a germaphobe. I don't believe I'm a germaphobe. I just believe that I'm, I'm germ cautious. And with that, you have to take certain precautions and do certain things in order to eliminate the risk of germs and what they do. So, <laughs> I, uh, so I believe that helped play a part uh, for me too, as far as like uh, me just cleaning things off and like keeping stuff in order. I really don't even know how I got it to be honest. Because like all the way that they said like you can contract it, like I didn't do. Or I, I guess that's not entirely true because I, I was still going to work, but like I wasn't touching people. I wasn't like touching things that like people had had. I wasn't like putting my hands in my face or like in my mouth. Um, I was wearing a mask. So I was just like, I don't get how, how I got it. When I, I did everything like that they said do for the most part, like, um, when I went to the gym, I was wiping stuff off before and after use. So I was just like, I doesn't make sense. But uh, yeah, so I, I'm glad that it's over. I'm glad that I, at least to my knowledge, I, I haven't, I, I believe that I, you know, like I'm okay. Everything seems to return back to normal. Um, yeah, so I just, I've, I've heard people, some people say that they're like, they feel that people, it's gonna kind of run its course through people. Um, I don't know how that plays out. I know like, uh, so like my girlfriend's cousin, um, she has like a little baby and her little baby had it, but she's perfectly fine. So like nothing's wrong with her. Um, I know some people that have like tested, other people have tested like positive, like adults my age. Um, and they just have absolutely nothing. So I, I don't know now if this, like, uh, this part of it, you know, how, like some people say like, well, it's mutating and stuff. And now it, people are contracting it, but it's just not the same type of symptoms that we first saw at the beginning where like, you know, there was a lot of death and dying. Um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, but I kind of dive deeper into this or discuss this longer. Um, uh, on my podcast. So, but I just wanted to kind of just update you guys and say that to y'all, uh, and say, uh, yeah. So, um, I, you can kind of follow my format if you feel as if, I don't know if that's good advice or not. So don't hold it against me, but, um, yeah, if you feel as if like your taste and stuff, if you have it and then you feel like your taste is kind of not really coming back. So, Oh, someone did tell me, uh, peppermint oil. They say they boiled that in, uh, like in their house and they kind of stood over it. That could work. Uh, I would say just try the stuff. Just keep like 
putting flavor, introducing flavor into yourself like uh, over and over and just see what happens. But uh, yeah, I believe that's pretty much it on like all that I did. Uh, can't think of anything else. But I didn't do anything else special. Uh, I took my allergy medicine. That that's just that's like an everyday thing. Now that's like nothing special. But I just did like typical allergy medicine. Because um, at first I thought it was just uh, seasonal allergies, but that's beside. Uh, anything else? That I don't think I did anything else that was like that I thought helped. Um, yeah, well, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, share this with a friend if you think that this would be helpful to them. Uh, I know I kind of only gave a few little tidbits of things. Uh, even it'll just be encouraging to them, nonetheless, that if they did just contract it, then maybe they can see someone else that, uh, I mean, made it through it. Uh, well, they know of two people, me and my girlfriend. So, uh, yeah, just... Uh, Try to stay healthy and safe as much as possible as we can right now. And continue to watch the videos. And yeah, till next time.